Yeah, I'm dirty. Took my broken piece. It was twice that long. Took it to work. It was threaded on the end. Guys in the shop had a piece of 7 16 all thread. Not exactly the same thing, but <clears throat> same diameter. So that ought to get me close. What I did think about was that I really don't have to have that linkage hooked up because I'm not trying to use this as a flip type. At least not in the garden. I'm not going to be turning around. So that made me think maybe I can just hook it up and run it like it is without the linkage. Because I'm, I'm still, I gotta go buy two fine thread nuts for that and I gotta drive all the way into town. So I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna hook it back up and take it in the garden and see if it'll plow like this. All right, Fuzzy, got that hooked up. Everything points to this working. Blade's steady. Wired everything else up. I think we're good to go. I didn't move all that crap yet. I'll get that figured out. I don't want to think very deep. Yeah, huh? That's gonna take forever. You don't need to see that. Yeah? Didn't take as long as I thought. My speaker working? Yes, it is. I just found it in my shed. I don't recall buying this. So maybe it was here when I bought the place. I consider that a score. with this killing me killing me I know I'm gonna till this and plow it and spread it out but I'd rather have it spread out a little bit because it's not gonna help much if it's all piled in one spot even with the tilling and the plowing basically the layout here since you can see it in the camera this whole side over here is gonna be the main garden all the other vegetables this side over here, pretty much all of that is going to be giant pumpkins. Actually, four big plants. And they'll take up most of the garden. <laughs> so last night, couldn't get that plow to dig very deep. And uh, I thought about today, and I figured that it was probably at the wrong angle. The top link was hooked down too low, which made the plow tilt back which means the trailing edge of the plow was digging in or rubbing harder than it should have. So I adjusted it, got it so the tip of the plow points down just a little bit. That tip right there tilts down and it dug in real nice. Got the whole thing plowed in about 20 minutes. Deep too. These trenches are about a foot deep. Beautiful. 
couldn't get close to the fence though because of the single plow. Um, which is, I guess, all right. That'll allow a walkway all the way around. Pardon if my face is dirty. I had a little run in with a bag of satcrete. Anyway, I'm trying to get my well pump working. And I just went and flipped a breaker on my panel. And now I've got juice at the pump, or in the pit anyway. That is positive. What's not positive is when I touch the handle of the switch with one hand, my uh, sensor, my power sensor goes off in my other hand. That's not right, right? It's not good. So I got me a plastic cheater. Yeah, I'm dirty. There's mosquitoes down here. Okay, so this is the box. That's scary. That's not good. You know what? I would be willing to bet you good money this is what they used to flip the switch with because it's plastic. No sparky. Mosquito. See that? Everything's hot. Pump's hot. Whole body of the pump's hot. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some work down here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was already hot before I flipped the switch. It runs on a pressure switch that is no longer intact. I need to come in here replace all this crap. Maybe not the pump. All the electrical. I gotta start here. All the way back to that switch. I'm gonna go kill the power right now before it, the opposite happens. And yeah, I will tell you something. My block work's not very good. But it's better than this crap. That's right. I got the trailer loaded up. I'm in the flatbed. I'm heading to Pueblo West to pick up my car. Not the vet. A different car. An old car that I've had for a while. It's been sitting in storage. So I hope I have everything I need to get this thing on the trailer. I'm done load the beast.